All right, guys, so we're going to be doing a should you summon or before you summon video for Freyr. So Freyr's banner is actually pretty good, and him, him himself is a pretty solid unit. I don't think he's 100% necessary, but if you need to get him because you plan on doing creature right now, the new creature that just released on JP, you might want to pick him up because as far as I know, he's a necessity for floor 3, but not so much on floor 1 or 2. You can get away with using Melascula and or I think Scotty, but him himself is pretty good, but he's more so on the whale side when it comes to getting dupes because you, he's got a he's got death effect, like the one, so he is a bit more... You're going to need at least four copies if you want that ultimate to be at least decent. The banner is pretty good. Uh, I do think the banner is pretty solid because you got Ragnarok Dion on, on it, you got Ragnarok Bond, you got Jormagander, Magilda, uh, I'm pretty sure Scotty's on there, and you know all the Ragnarok characters up to Brynhild. Brynhild's not on it; she just released. But everyone before her is on the banner, so the banner is pretty good. There's also some trash ones on there, obviously like Lost Fane and whatnot. Uh, we're gonna go over his kit, and I'll give you my honest opinion about his kit. So this is Master of Light, Sun God, Freya. Not Freya, Freya. Freya is his sister. So, allies are immune to ignites at the start of the allies' turn, applies Blessing of the Light to the hero, and increases all the hero's stats by 15% for two turns. Every two turns applies, uh, apply Blessing of the Light again when uh, Blessing of the Light is removed, increases all allies' stats by 5% for five turns. So, he's his support skill is nice, but I don't think it's as good as, like, Megilda's or Jormaganders, I feel like it's a little bit less of that like level of support, and that's because he's gonna be doing damage for those who are more on the lines just full on supporting. His first card is cancel stances on one enemy and inflicts damage equal to 500% of attack. This card is not so good. His first card isn't very good, so that's unfortunate. His second card is inflict cleave damage with uh, which does not activate crit damage equal to 500% of attack on one enemy. We have additional damage equal to 75% of crit damage minus 100%, right? So, Thieve is a good card uh, if you build into damage. If So, if you're going to build this guy into attack, uh, I think attack crit. Because even though you can't utilize the crit, that still applies to his cleave. So, it'll be more consistent than, you know, like a, than like a spike card single target. It's going to be a lot more consistent. And the damage it does is pretty solid for the most part. So, this card is actually pretty good. It's interesting that they gave this guy a cleave card when he's raising his stats. Uh, it's a good card, nonetheless, for him. His ultimate inflicts damage equal to 720% of attack on one enemy, then inflicts additional death damage. 20% of final damage uh, as additional damage, random uh, damage on death, or random damage, like random en enemy on death, right? Whenever you kill him. This ult is not very good until 4 or 6. I think 4 or 6 is the bare minimum for this ult if you plan on using it like competitively in pvp and if you want to use it in pve i mean my my the one is two six could be four six but like i just don't like this ultimate personally because it's a single target for one and uh i don't know like it's a good ultimate but like hey like the, the meta is aoe right it's always it's, it's always gonna be aoe ults is the meta so in my opinion the ultimate's fine I kind of wish they would have just made an AoE death effect all, even if it's just not as, like... Like, I don't know, like, it's 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 ultimate. Like, the ultimate's fine. It's gonna help you burn the creatures. It's just, like, you don't want to use it in certain parts of the new creature fight. You, I like, think on the first floor, phase three, uh, the last phase of that fight, you do have to kill both of them together, so this just won't let you do that, so... Just careful with it. If you do want to go for one copy, he's fine, because his passive still going to be usable, his quick card still going to be solid, and he does got to remove stance card. So for PvE, he's got pretty solid cards, right? Very well-designed PvE unit. I'm not really sure how I feel about him in PvP yet. Uh, keep this in mind that he is an unknown unit, so he will be benefits from, like, Shuna and whatnot. Shuna, Ram, uh, I guess, any Gother, besides the Halloween Gother. So you could use him in PvP if you want to 6-6 six -six him, but ideally, if, if you want to... Be serious about it. Probably not going to be a meta pick. We are going to be getting Ragnarok Chapter 5. Uh, I guess it's not turning in the patch notes. And he's got all his outfits coming in. And later on, he's getting a uh, summer outfit. Um, is there anything worth mentioning? We're getting a free bird holy relic. This always happens. This is the second time it's happened now. In my opinion, you should save these resources and wait for Festival Fullwing King to get his holy relic. And or the new Elizabeth. 
I feel like you should really sit and save these materials for one of those two. That way you don't have to worry about burn as much. Unless you need red Carmeels, uh relic, then that's a good exception. I think those are like the only three like ones I'd really say are like you should save these materials, especially if you're struggling with bird. Full Wing King should be getting his relic probably relatively soon. Elizabeth probably won't get it until Mono's get to her, so whenever Mono gets her relic, Elizabeth should be right after. And then I imagine uh, Tarmiel's already out, Red Tarmiel, so if, if you want it, if you're using Red Tarmiel, then obviously get his. But those are like the only three of that I would consider using these materials on. All the rest of them are just for CC. Blue is for CC, Red Sariel is for the Link for CC, Green Sariel can definitely be usable. If you want to use uh, Green Sariel on a counter team, you're going to have to get Blue Sar or Tarmiels, so keep that in mind. I might pick up Blue Tarmiels for the CC, but at the same time, I might just sit and say for Festival King to get his. I, don't, I haven't decided yet, to be honest, because like I don't really use fairies or goddesses that much unless i'm using for association links we're getting an outfit for jormagander and uh freyer uh, honestly you don't need these because they're pve units and uh, they have enough free outfits so unless you really just want to look at, like at them in their in these outfits then that's fine but honestly you do not need these outfits uh, you don't need them okay and they're doing this is uh, Fort Solgris, boss battle, deathmatch, uh, reverse stages, grotto. I guess we get extra stuff by doing these events or something. So, cool. Anyway, back to the main point of this. As should you summon or not, I guess. I do think you should summon it to at least pull one copy. And as soon as you pull one copy, stop. Uh, the only reason I say you only need one copy is because he's not the main unit for the creature. It's going to be the... The second, uh, either the second or third Ragnarok character after him, depending how fast they release them back to back. It's always been like this. Miguel was after Brynhild, and I honestly think Brynhild's like still like core to like first like bird and deer. If you want to be serious about it, uh, then they then they released Miguel, which was the bird unit. They released Scotty, and then she wasn't really like the core unit. Towards the the deer she was good but she was never like the core unit and then they released jormagander which was the core unit so freyer will be released then i imagine we're getting either tear the guy with the red hair and looks really cool or his sister freya and one of those two units will be the core unit for the the new boss which are the double wolves so i'm assuming it's gonna be freya just because if you look at her skills in game they're both aoe skills and the whole fight is essentially built around two two wolves right so i imagine she should be the one and their time release should be two months after this guy, relatively around there. So keep that in mind. Just get one copy. And if you really want to beat that creature in the future, put 600 diamonds away for the future. So whenever they release Freya, you can pick her up. And I bet you Freya will be the unit for the for the new creature. Uh, either that or Tyr. I think Tyr should probably come after this guy, I would assume. But maybe he won't be the unit designed for or, I mean, he could probably be another unit. Like, they might have designed multiple units for this battle because of how, like, hard this battle really is. You're needed, like, immunity units. You're gonna, need, like, we're gonna need a green cleanse card because they seal his blue buffs, apparently. So we're gonna need the green cleanse card, cleanse card, like, the old skinny kings, which I've been saying, uh, me and my buddy Air have been saying it for a while. We need a green cleanser. So, a green card cleanser. So, imagine we get that off, uh, probably a units or something. So... There's going to be a lot of requirements for this 3-3, three, three, or if you want to go to max 4 and beat it. High dupes. There's just, you're going to have to be waiting a while. Honestly, if you're free to play, honestly, what I would do right now is ignore the new creature and get your other relics done first. Go to deer, go to bird, and finish out your relics. Get some extra materials. So that way, here in two months, whenever they release the actual unit for this event, you can just ignore those other two and start focusing on this event where there's more relics and more more like options for relics. Because honestly, they're going to probably be spamming relics out pretty soon. Uh, I'd imagine in the next four or five weeks, we should get two more relics, three more relics. Unless they hold off when they want to release the units first. And then, you know, go into releasing the good relics. Because eventually we're going to get Trader Melly's relic in here. We're going to get Deanne's relic in here. There's going to be a lot of good relics in here that uh, probably matter, but right now, just trust me on this, farm your deer, farm your bird, ignore the creature for now until you get a better prep team and wait for the next unit that's going to be designed specifically for the new creature, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably focus on my my deer here in a little while because I just built Sigurd's Relic video on that soon, and uh, I'm still pretty much at 38 materials, so I can still build two more relics, but I'm saving one guaranteed for mono, and the extra one's going to be... I don't really know yet. 
I, I don't I don't really know what relics I want outside of Awaken Monos and Awaken Shin if we if we get Awaken Shin so or whatever Awaken Roxy or whatever I'm I'm trying to save my bird materials for Dastrophes I just wanted to pick Sigurds because he's like the last one I sort of wanted just in case he gets a new unit in the future so there you guys go. Uh, do the bird, do the deer. Ignore the new one for a little while, especially if you are struggling with those two. If you're struggling with bird and deer, you're, there's no way you're going to be the new creature, just so you know. The new creature is the hardest one out of all three of them. So just focus on the other two first and wait for this other bust to Ragnarok unit in the future to release probably two months and then attempt it off of that. So make sure you guys got 600 diamonds on the side. I think we're going to be getting Festival Chandler first if he's a festival. So... I guess we have to wait and see what's next. Uh, there is a Summer DN coming. Just skip her. She's not worth it. Uh, from what I understand, she's kind of bad anyway. It's the Ragnarok DN Ultimate, which is nice. But apparently the kit from the Summer DN just kind of sucks. From what I was told. So, here you guys go. All you need to know. So, get one copy of this guy. Save until Festival Chandler, potentially. That's If that's the next one. And then I imagine we get a collab after Chandler. Like an AOT or a ReZero rerun. And then we'll probably get Freya after that so along with like probably another catastrophe unit sometime after that and then uh, another ragnarok unit probably we'll probably get two ragnarok banners close together just to maximize the creature so expect that coming probably in the next few months and yeah save your diamonds and don't stress new creature too much and just focus on the old older two since they're gonna be infinitely farmable and that's how you get that's how you get ahead and catch up. It's just by focusing your other relics first. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Peace.